Welcome back to Honest Tool Reviews. Today's tool review is going to be about the Smith & Wesson TC Compass 30 6 hunting rifle. This rifle is a bolt action, which means you have the bolt that slides back and forth, locking the bullet in place, securing it, so that you can safely shoot the bullet single shot, pull it back to extract the bullet. 30 alt 6 is this. It is a big hunting round. Uh, you could say it's a defense round. You could probably just shoot clays with it, but this is a big hunting round. I mean, it fits in my hand rather remarkably. As opposed to a 22 bullet, Let's see if I can get one out of the chamber here. 22 bullet versus 30 out 6. Yep, big difference. So, I had covered that the AR-15 is a good choice for home defense, plinking, and hobbies. Well, as I'm going to say a lot, each gun has different uses. So what is this one for? Well, this is a hunting rifle. This would be predominantly used to take out bears or deers. You probably couldn't shoot a squirrel with this. If you did, there might not be anything left. Of course, you could take your chances, see where, where that leaves you. This gun does come with a external threaded end for silencers or um, or well they don't really silence uh, reducers quieters whatever you want to call them uh, I don't understand the purpose of that for hunting I imagine if you were to shoot one good time you, you might get another shot because it was quiet but 30 out 6 is a really loud gun this is not your get in the backyard and shoot a couple beer bottles gun. If you're not taking yourself out to the woods and trying to get some meat for your family, you probably shouldn't shoot this. It'll go right through a trailer wall, a mobile home wall, a camper wall, a tent. If you find yourself living in a trailer park, a mobile home park, a trailer hood, whatever you'd like to call it, you probably don't want this gun for home defense. This gun is not as flexible as maybe the AR-15 and its many different types of 22 caliber bullets. Okay, so it features two rails on top they're not necessarily picatinn rails they are kind of designed similarly they have been mounted with screws they came factory this way but no scope a lot of the times if you're going to be a good hunter and go out and really try to catch some deer you're going to get your own scope you're going to find something that you truly trust sighted in for you and it may not be the one that the gun would come with so I'm guessing they chose not not to do that there was not even an option to buy one with a scope I don't know that that has or has not changed but for the moment that's all I know as you can see it says TC compass oh come on now Let's get that thing working. It says TC Compass, Smith & Wesson, Springfield, Massachusetts, USA. If you go down, it says 30 out 6 Spurg. Um, I've not honestly paid any attention to the Spurg. I believe that means Springfield which is perfectly fine. My bullets do say Spurg, like Springfield. So, 
I, I, I may not know what that is. I apologize. This gun comes with uh, one small five round magazine. It's a barrel magazine. That means that the bullets uh, sit inside of it. Let's see if I can get it to stand up. Grr. Okay. So the bullets come in and they load in here and it clockwise kind of loads just like this in a circle and it's a little paddle in there that pushes them back around so as you shoot one it kind of and on out the barrel so this isn't side stacked this is this is kind of a barrel uh, this would be like a really, really small version of like that thing that everyone iconically identifies on a Tommy gun. Uh, I I'm pretty sure that's a very crude comparison, but this is exactly like that. I know you're technically not supposed to load a gun in the house. This is for instruction purposes. I am paying very close attention. The breech here is closed when I loaded the magazine in. It was closed. The bullets are not in the chamber. Just for educational purposes, what you would do is pull the latch, the lever up, and then the latch back. And you see the bullets would be sitting inside. And as you go to press forward, it would load the bullet. And I don't want to load the bullet, but you can kind of see it smacking it and trying to convince it to go forward. Let's, let's push that back down where it's supposed to be and take that back on out. Want to prevent any accidents from happening for any reason. I do leave this uh, loaded. I leave this loaded as kind of a last resort. If somebody is coming and, God forbid, my wife's got the 22 and she can't get it to work, it's jamming up, I can't get to something else, I do have this ready. Um... I don't know that I'd be willing to take the shot, even with it in my hand, if my life depended on it. Because we're talking about, well, I live in a trailer park. And even though, I mean, I'm not ashamed to say I live in a trailer park, but trailers, they have these thin walls. And if I was to shoot this, I could easily shoot this bullet through my house, four or five walls, across the way into my neighbor's house, back out his back window, into the next neighbor's house over, and no telling from there where this bullet would go. They are lead tipped, or they look lead tipped, but I believe this is full metal jacket. I mean, it's it doesn't have a hollow point, but I think maybe the lead kind of bores away on impact and becomes a hollow point. I don't I don't know. I don't actually remember what box of bullets this is. I know so little about hunting rounds. Uh, anyway, um, I, I would suggest that this is one of the nicest guns you can get for the price that you've paid. Uh, hunting guns have a tendency to you know be, be about a thousand dollars. Once again, for my videos, this gun, I purchased it for right at $425. It has not jammed up or failed me, not a single time that I have shot it. Every shot that I have taken has been well within the aim that I have given with my eye. Uh, with the lack of a scope, I have not tried any 100-yard or 200-yard shots. But at regular distances I'm, I'm gonna suggest between 25 yards 50 yards and 75 yards I have been rather close even without the scope uh, that being said I think the gun is rather accurate uh, I will warn you that it has no sight so you have to know what you're doing when you aim that way what I was doing and it, it may be a no-no it may not be a no-no I uh, I can't say to do it or not to do it. I can only say that I have done it. During my shooting of a scopeless 30 out 6 I put the target in line with the barrel 
which means this is ever so slightly above what I'm shooting. And the further out I'm aiming, the greater the distance above what I'm shooting. Now this is maybe a quarter of an inch off the barrel, but the barrel also gets smaller. So at about 50 yards, I push it up about two and a half inches from where I want to shoot my target. That's just what I do. Can't say that anyone else will get the same results. No two people look at a target the same way and aim the same way. TC Compass is a, well, it's a very decorative type gun. It actually came with a nice compass that, that has their little um, insignia, had the little spikes on the outside of the compass. It goes on your keychain. It got broke at work, came off the chain. I, I had a bit of an accident. I'm a mechanic. I don't have too many options of being decorative everywhere I go. The gun is ready to be mounted with a sling. It has the sling holes here and down here at the buttstock. They do not swivel, unfortunately. However, anybody that goes to pick up swivel clips can easily attach them to the original clips right here and you're good to go. So the only things missing are the sling and the scope. All right, now what does that have to do with a hell of beans? Right now there's people rioting in the streets. People are going crazy. People are hungry. Okay, well, there you go. The idea of a hunting gun is to go hunting and find you some food. People who have been out of work three, four, five, six, seven months, maybe they've been hurt and they finally started to come back when the coronavirus hit. They are probably some of the most desperate. People that have been out three, four months with the coronavirus uh, pandemic. Maybe somebody's been hurt during the rioting and they're definitely not going back to work now. Well, just because you can't keep up a full eight hours at work or six hours at a part-time job doing what everybody tells you to do doesn't mean you can't put food on your table. You can sit on a tree stump somewhere outside in the woods and take out a deer or a buffalo or a hog, something wild running through there, gut it, skin it, cook it, clean it. Uh, not, not necessarily in that order. You can you know get food that way without having to deal with any kind of you know you go to the grocery store and now you got to pay money that you ain't got to pay for the groceries and then you get them home and the groceries are all really terribly trans fatted and everything anyhow it does come with a safety the safety is this pin that somehow manages to prevent the lever and bolt from actually moving when you press it this way, it allows you to fire the gun and load the gun using the bolt action. By pulling the lever back towards you, it is in a safe position. It can't be moved for any use whatsoever. You can, in fact, load this gun, work the bolt action, putting a bullet in the chamber, and then work this, and it will still prevent the use of the trigger. Okay, let's try that again. Just so people at home can really pay attention to what I've just done here. Okay, so I loaded it without without the bullets and put it on safety. Now you hear it clicking, but it's not it's not triggering. Hear the difference when I turn it back to fire much different. The weight on the trigger pull is rather low which means you don't have to pull as hard which means that it's just it's a little on the dangerous side just like every other gun recently they don't make them too hard to pull no more. However the the motion of pulling the trigger is so small such a hairline pull that you're guaranteed that when you pull this trigger you have not moved the gun 
off of your sight. So it's a very good gun when it comes to you've got to aim and you're worried about losing the aim yeah, by pulling the trigger. Let's let's set it up a little. Across the top it does say TC Compass 30 out 6 Spring Hill. Spring Hill, I don't know. It has this little piece right here. Uh, that's just a fancy piece that allows you to remove the bolt. But it's so easy to clean this gun that I'm going to show you in less than 12 seconds how easy it is to set this gun up to be cleaned. Okay, look. let's see if that's. I hope it stays right there. So you got the bolt. I apologize. You got the bolt. You lift it up. Dang it. You pull it back. While you got the bolt back, you pull this trigger. And that releases the bolt from inside the gun. You clean this, lube it up, spray it down get it nice and greasy like it's supposed to with gun oils and in the process you have cleared up the entire barrel area for cleaning all the way through good and thoroughly taking care of the majority of the moving parts that you would clean on a regular basis now putting this back in is almost just as intuitive let's go ahead and try that now Let's see if I do this a different way this time so that you can see. Okay, just snaps into a spot where it's happy. Mm. Yep, there we go. Just need two hands on it to move it. Yeah, it's back in there and safety. All right. Real question. The real talk, the real reason you're watching this video through to the end, I paid about 425 for this gun. Is it any good? Uh, well, as, as I said, I've not had any problems with it whatsoever. It has been a rather surprisingly good gun for a gun that has uh, such a large round and no scope. Um, I think a lot of people will argue, come on now. I think a lot of people will argue that a heavy caliber like this really needs a scope because the bullets you're going to be shooting are going to be shooting to such a long distance. I do agree. Uh, again, though, I've not shot that way, and I will not shoot that way until I have gotten a scope. But I have put about 100 rounds through this, and I have not had a jam up of any form. Um, safety is great. Simplicity is great. The weight of this thing is so light in just the right areas and centered in just the right areas. The recoil is minimum. I would love to give this gun 5 out of 5 if I believe there was a perfect gun on this planet. This would probably get 5 out of 5. I, I am sworn not to have any kind of favoritisms, so I will not be giving... TC Compass 5 out of 5 there could have been a scope with it for $425 I don't know if they could or not but there could have been a scope with it even if they had to raise the price the they could have thrown a strap in they didn't this uh, magazine only holds five although you probably would not kill five deer in one trip uh, it would be nice to have a larger magazine of some to some type uh, I will give it four out of five which is the best I ever intend to give on guns 270 Winchester huh that's interesting I guess I guess it shoots 270 or 30 out six but the barrel doesn't say that does it 
no the barrel doesn't the magazine can hold either bullet but the barrel won't interesting interesting thought never never noticed that till now I hope this has had this has been a interesting and eventful video to watch I hope it's been educational uh, maybe you see uh, an answer to the starvations you may be going through I am not condoning hunting without a hunting license but if you were hungry and you didn't have money but you had this gun I do believe you could kill you a deer and eat it and not quite be eat, uh, doing so illegally if you're hungry and desperate and you're gonna do something bad I think killing one deer wouldn't be as bad as going out rioting looting hurting innocent humans you know one deer if you if you cut a deer just right you might can make two or three meals depending on how big your family is I hope you're having a great day thanks for watching and be safe out there